We're still on the theme of forgiveness and today's hymn is one that I discovered as I was personally trying to find a path of restoration in my relationship with my Heavenly Father uh, through gospel forgiveness and not through the fatal pathway of legal forgiveness. And uh, when you read or hear the words of today's hymn by Charles Wesley, uh, you'll see what I'm getting at. The story of the prodigal son is one that perhaps uh, more than any other parable uh, contrasts what I've called legal forgiveness with gospel forgiveness. When the prodigal son realized how much uh, wrong he'd done and what a mistake he'd made, he said, I'm going to return to my father and ask him to let me be a hired servant. <clears throat> In other words, I'll repent of my sin against my father and appease my own conscience by restoring a sort of bargaining relationship with him. And in that bargain, I'll be a servant. I'll do my part and then he'll reward me for what I do. And this is the essence of what I'm calling legal forgiveness. But when he came back uh, home and as he was rehearsing his speech, the father ran out and threw his arms around him. The son uh, began to make a speech about how he would be willing to become one of the father's hired servants. And the father cut him off even before he could finish his speech uh, by restoring him not only to full sonship, but to all the privileges of, of sonship immediately. He didn't have to work his way back gradually into those privileges. They were all immediately restored by the father. That's gospel forgiveness. The older brother, of course, in the parable, never understood gospel forgiveness himself. And when he saw how the father treated the wayward son, said, I have worked all these years and you never gave me. And so he goes on. In other words, he was in this uh, legal forgiveness relationship with the father, the servant relationship. Uh, John Wesley speaks of the difference between the faith of a servant and the faith of a son. And that's where the older brother was too. He didn't see the father's heart and nature any more clearly than the prodigal son had done. Uh, he was living uh, in a relationship with the father where he was doing his bit and he expected the father to do his bit back to him. Father, I've served you and worked all these years and you never gave me and so on. I was once explaining the gospel to a very successful businessman who had real difficulty understanding God's forgiveness by grace. And I explained to him how in dealing with my own sin, I had to keep returning to the truth that Jesus took 100% of my guilt in my place. My sins deserve death, nothing less than that. But he had died as my substitute. And I had nothing to contribute to being forgiven other than my sin. And to believe in God's free promise to forgive every person who looked to Jesus as their substitute and believed his promise. And in a light bulb moment, this businessman saw it. He got it. And in his own language, he said something that captured the prodigal son mistaken view perfectly. He said, I've been trying to build a relationship with God on performance related pay. The light had gone on in his mind and for the first time he understood gospel forgiveness by grace after years of seeking to get that sense of forgiveness through what I've called legal forgiveness, his performance, his effort to try and feel forgiven instead of trusting only in the promise of God. And that's what this hymn is about. It's a hymn by Charles Wesley on the prodigal son that captures uh, the very heart of what I'm trying to say today and in the last few posts. My Father, God and King, your sovereign grace I sing. With what joy all heaven resounds For this sinner you've received 
lost in Christ I now am found. Dead by faith in Christ I live. Look farther on your son in Christ I am your own. Back the prodigal has come. Though I grieved you, did you harm? You have welcomed me back home. Open wide your heart and arms. Compassionate and kind, you ran your son to find me your love rejoice to see me with mercy you embraced I a servant plan to be but I fail to see your grace my offer you dismissed forgave me with your kiss gracious words fell on my ears bring the robe prepared for him for this sinful son so dear my son died